we know that inflammation is a huge driver of illness. Like, honestly, if you walk through an ICU, inflammation is a driver of almost every patient that's in there. But with obesity, you know, with the visceral fat, there's cytokines that are deposited within the visceral fat and are, make our patients more prone to inflammation. There's chronic inflammation that's happening in, in overall, but they're more prone to inflammation. We also see that um, because of those uh, mediators, they're also more prone to secondary infections. They're also more prone to clotting. Um, and, and so this is where really, you know, oh, actually one other thing I want to mention too is um, when it came to the presentation with COVID, um, you know, you, uh, patients would often, uh, they would get diagnosed with the, the COVID infection, have some upper respiratory infections. And then about a week later, you would, we were seeing that quote unquote cytokine, cytokine storm. So that secondary infl inflammatory period. And because of that underlying chronic inflammation, many of our obese patients were more prone to this. And so this, we, there was several treatments that have, we were adjusted as uh, we progressed, adding steroids, adding monoclonal antibodies that hope probably mitigated some of that. But um, really, this is one of the key drivers of why we saw so many uh, obese or metabolically unhealthy patients land in ICU. The last thing I'll mention as well is, um, you might have seen a lot of talk of the ACE2 receptor. Um, and, and unfortunately, many of our metabolically unhealthy and uh, obese patients have more expression of the ACE2 receptor. And this was the port of entry for uh, COVID, uh, the COVID virus. So more prone to higher viral loads, more pro-inflammatory, leading to all the secondary complications from, uh, from, from inflammation.